Hey y'all, I'm Robin. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. It's good to see all of you. I was tagged by Rima over at Rima Reads to do the Winter Essentials book tag, which was originally created by Taylor over at Taylor Reads. I'll leave both of their videos down below. Um, and so I know that winter is almost over. We have like maybe a strong week and a half and thank God, because I'm tired of it. But that's not the point. Am I still gonna squeeze this tag in? Yes. Yes, I am. And so let's get right to it. Question one, Crackling Fire. Who's your favorite cult character warmed up towards the end? For that, I'm gonna say Uwe from A Man Called Uwe. He's like this, the grumpiest old man ever. But like over the course of the book, he starts to warm up to the people around him. He starts to really care for them. And they, I feel like they've always cared for him. And it's heartwarming. He's heartwarming. I love that old little grumpy man. And so yeah. Question two, Snowflakes. What is a book that was full of unique characters? For that, I'm going to say um, something I recently read was Furthermore by Tahira Mafi. Everybody in that book is just unique down to their toes, from their head to their feet, just unique. I loved it. The world was very unique. The characters were unique. The situations, unique. <laughs> Love it. Question three, gingerbread family. Which fictional family would you want to be part of? For this one, I'm gonna say the Brown family from Talia Hibbert's um, The Brown Sisters series. That's Chloe, Eve, and Danny. And this is because I always wanted sisters. I have an older brother, but I was always like, it would be great if I had sisters. And I just imagine that if I had sisters, they would be like the Brown sisters, where everyone's all encouraging and supportive and protective of each other. And, or at least I would hope that's what we would be like. But knowing me, maybe I would just be out to try to like destroy them all so I could reign supreme. Anywho, the Brown sisters. Question four, Blizzard. What is a book that had you confused the whole time? A Tessa Moss phase, death in her hands. I'm still confused. I still don't know for sure what happened. I don't know what was real, what wasn't real. Was any of it real? Did she just start off like crazy? I don't know. I don't think I'm ever gonna know. If you've read this book, can you tell me what was real and what wasn't real? I would really appreciate that. Question five, gift giving. What is the last book that was gifted to you? The last book that was gifted to me or gift books that were gifted to me were the Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo. I had them on my Kindle, but I was telling a friend that I would rather have them like in physical form. So he went and bought me the box set and that was the last book or books I was gifted. Question six, Snowball. What is the biggest book you've ever read? According to my Goodreads, the biggest book I've ever read was A Storm of Swords by George R.R. R. Martin. And it comes in at, let's see, 1,179 pages. Why is a book this long? I don't know. Did it need to be this long? No. Does any book need to be this long? No. But did I read that shit? Yeah, I did. I did. I really did. Still a good time though. It was a great time. I had, I loved it. Question seven, wrapping paper. What is your most beat up book? So randomly, I still have this book from when I was like a child and it was like a book of night, of bedtime stories. The Book of Good Night Stories. It's got like paint on it. There's no, what happened to the spot? Like what's going on here? Like, I think I, the front page, just tragedy. I was, what's going on? I don't even know. But I've had this for so long, so long. I, I'm not a mathematist, I will not count. But yeah, that's my most beat up book. I don't even, 
I don't know why I still have this. I don't ever plan on reading these stories again. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll go through and read these stories to like see if I like any of them. Maybe not, probably not. Question eight, Christmas lights. What is a book you own that has many colors on the cover? Let's take a look. I'm lazy and I'm only gonna look through this one bookshelf over here. So, The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. It's got lots of different colors and it's just, it's just pretty. Do I have more colorful books? Maybe, I don't know. Probably, I feel like my books are a lot like my wardrobe. Everything is just very neutral or black. Like, it's, it's what we're doing here. Question nine, ice skating. What is a book that had a plot that was all over the place? I just mentioned it in a previous question, but I'm going to say Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I'm not gonna say more here because I'm gonna talk about it later. So stay tuned on that. But just know that I think Crooked Kingdom's plot was just everywhere, everywhere. Question 10, Christmas tree. Who is your favorite character of all time? And you can only choose one. And that's easy. I'm always going to say it's Joe March, unless like somebody else comes along. But it's Joe March. I wanna be Joe March. She's a strong, independent woman who like is thriving. Well, I don't know if she's thriving, but she's carving out her own way in this male dominated world of hers. And I really love that about her. Also, like she could have gone to be with Lori. She could have just been like, you know what? Let's also come to the norms, but she didn't. She was like, I'm gonna be who I wanna be. And that means I don't wanna be with you, Lori. Even though later she, she thought about it and was like, oh, maybe I should have done that. But you know what? Who doesn't second guess their decisions? I certainly do every single one. Did I need that exclamation point in that email? Should I have kicked that boy in the third grade? Probably. I didn't because I'm, I'm a nice person and a rule follower. Damn. Anyway, Joe March. Question 11, The Star. What's a book you look forward to rereading each year? So interestingly enough, I do not reread books. Like, I just don't. I used to read my Harry Potter books like every other year or so, but I haven't done that in years. Like, and now I just, I probably won't. But I don't reread books. I've I've recently had like this desire to want to reread some of my favorites. Um, and so I think that I will revisit some of them hopefully soon just to see if I still like them. I mean, are they my favorites if I don't want to reread them? Probably, but we're gonna find out for sure. And question 12, snowball fight, tag five people. Okay, so we're down to the wire. We only have a few days before spring starts. I said it before and I'll say it again, thank God, because winter, it's not for me. I don't like it. But in the spirit of tagging people, I'm going to tag Ray over at Bookmark Chronicles, Dasha at Mythic Pages, Erica at Queen Read Mom, Dina at Books Yada Yada, and for my fifth person, I'm tagging all of you. Anybody who's watching who wants to do it before spring gets here. And if you get it like on the 19th, like kudos to you. Getting it under the wire, I like it. I like working under pressure. So that was the Winter Essentials book tag. And until next time, bye.